Hey guys, just today I received Android Oreo update from Honor for my Huawei Honor 7X and uh, let's get into settings, go to system and about phone and as you can see the phone is running Android version 8.0. So here is Android Oreo. So coming back, let's see what are the changes in this update. So let's go to gallery and i have taken the screenshot of the change log of our the newest update and uh, it's here as you can see the change log is pretty big uh, you can pause the video to see the change log so main changes include the change in the user interface and navigation short app shortcuts and the problem we had with touch with b160 update has been resolved in this update so there is some a related thingy and uh, the security patches has been updated and the update was around 2.43 gb so after updating the first thing i noticed was the firmware size has been reduced so previously it used to be around uh, just under then 9.83 gb and now as you can see it's just 7.98 gb which is a pretty good thing so coming back so i have kept the default theme so that you can compare what are the changes in the newest mui 8.0 so coming to notification panel as you can see the notifications are grouped up and uh, they are of android oreo style and there are no change in icons though so let's see what are the other changes so this comes with the few of the bloatwares i just deleted five of the bloatwares and all five of them were games so i have just kept an app called info so it has all the new features displayed right in it let's jump into the app info so as you can see yeah the app is called tips and it says the it gives the brief insight of newly included features the first one include uh, the frequently used features so suppose if i press and hold the camera you can see this is sort of 3d touch not exactly that it has uh, the direct access to selfie video and wide aperture modes <coughs> so that is the first feature so second feature includes navigate easily using one hand so this can be activated from a notification panel and as you can see there is something called navigation dock here so switching it on enables the navigation dock in the home screen so as you can see it is movable and when you press that once so it acts as back button if you press and hold if you press and hold it it will come back to home screen so as you can see and if you press and drag it it will just switch through the recent apps so that is it I'll just go ahead and switch off since I don't find it very useful. <clears throat> so coming back and going to this app, the third change is block unwanted calls and messages. We had this uh, feature previously in Android Nougat and going next we can sync our LinkedIn contacts to our contacts to access more information in our contact app itself so other changes include something like dual apps we had it in android nougat as well so quickly find a contact so it is nothing but dragging down to to find anything we want so this was also a part of mui 5.0 this is pretty new feature where you can scan the business cards visiting cards etc to save their contracts and other stuffs including addresses so other features include portrait mode wide aperture mode moving picture mode etc and they are just showcasing it in info app 
so going into settings few new things have been introduced and something like uh, i'll show you guys there is something called ride mode where which you can activate it uh, during your bike ride something like s mode in samsung so you can answer the call directly by text or voice and you can track your ride by the number of kilometer duration etc and it uses your location features and little battery draining so when it comes to battery <coughs> the battery performance remains the same as nougat and um, the only bug i found was app takes more time for its installation so i was installing some video editor app and it took around five minutes for installation after the download so that was one small bug but it didn't happen with one more app so it might be a minor bug other features like fingerprint id face unlock and everything is present in this and fingerprint id is as washed as how it was in nougat and same goes with face unlock so the other features include picture in picture mode which can be used for uh, youtube so i can show you picture in picture mode few apps are supported for <coughs> pip mode and to access it you just go to youtube and uh, youtube web say i'm playing some video play it in full screen mode so i'm trying to i'm trying to play it in full screen mode So as you can see after going to YouTube web you just have to press on, press the home screen button to access picture in picture mode if you want to access directly from YouTube you need YouTube red subscription that is one more thing so the other changes include the new settings menu as you can see it is very revamped and very minimalistic and uh, one thing i have observed is regarding storage which i have spoke earlier so camera doesn't include much changes as you can see i can show you the camera modes all the menu which was present in our android nougat is still there those are about cameras and uh, bluetooth and location works flawlessly so no issue with that and i think uh, this update is very sophisticated and i didn't find any bugs at and uh, hoping for the release soon so if you guys have any doubts regarding this update please up co uh, comment in the comment section and let me know and uh, i'll get back to you so the battery performance has remained same the camera is still the same camera the performance is excellent and you can see there is a slight revamp in the notification in the status bar the icons have changed a bit nothing much and uh, i think uh, that's all for this video thanks for watching like if you have like the video